this is another race vlog, but it's still in front of Scott's A7 that's jacked up to death. It's just had a bodywork repair. But anyway, don't drive with your air ride it jacked up. It aired out. So, horrible interior, but look at what's going on here. There's not much room left in car. I hate these electric tailgates. Got the scooters. Bags, 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 bags. Scott's brought about eight bags. So, we're off to Belgium. We're going to spa. So we're going to race in the Club Enduro, but we're not taking our cars because one, the golf gearbox is dead. But two, the TTs are not quite where we want them to be. I didn't have a mega disappointing weekend. We've still not sorted the gearbox issue out on one of them. So, and the other one still can't get to turn as good as we want it to. So we decided, leave the lads here to work on the cars because that's what they're the best. And me and Scott are going to have a jolly. So it's not usual we do this. So we're going to race in the Club Enduro, renting a car from Rob at Area Motorsport. They're going to run it for us. And that's two 100 minute races. Um, and we'll get qualifying and testing as well. But while we're there, we know some teams that race in the um, Fun Cup, and it's a 25 hour race. I think it's one of the longest races in the world. I think there's maybe some in America that are as long, but 25 hours. So we're going to get over there and have a go in that as well. So me and Scott are going to share the car in that, share the golf. And I think it means his championship points in the 750 should carry over from the golf, which it's not been a good season so far, but there's two drop scores. If we have a good one this weekend, it just props things up a bit and helps the golf out from its little uh, issues it's had earlier. So anyway, we're going to get on the ferry shortly and uh, over we go. We're on our way. Not very comfy with that up against your seat though. This is cosy. Where's my bed? bed. Luckily, anti roll protection. It's like a roll cage. Yeah, what is here? Look at that. Old mod comes here. See what bathroom's like. Yeah, it's better than an all ink floor. Shower. Beautiful. I think there's somebody strangling a cat on stage, so. We should go in casino and try and double the spending money. This is where we're going. They call it frittery. We call it chip oil. Situation's a bit oh, 
suboptimal. It's fixed. It's a bit better. On horse. That's where we need to pick our tickets up. Nice place. Can't wait at track. How long would a copper downpipe last in England? Yeah, this is uh, our whip for the weekend. So this is the calm before the storm. We're uh, all ready for tomorrow morning. Got us passes and everything. Got too many passes, too many wristbands. Gonna get something to eat now, around here. And I think we'll get something near at hotel tomorrow. Should be good. There we go. Cobbles. Bumps. Bubbles. So instead of just bending it, you ripped it. Like What's room like it, bad chance? Absolutely. <laughs> great. Sardines. Today is test day, and we'll have a look what weather looks like when we get back outside. It's typically Belgian. Let's see. Hard in there. Is this the best way of learning a track? I'm not sure. First lap around Spa in the wet, treacherous, slow, back off the traction control. I'm out again, red flag earlier. Oh dear, that's a low tick. Binned it already, not ideal. Hopefully, gets it fixed for tomorrow. Three laps have turned into about an hour and 20 minutes, so I'll try and get a good there. I'm pretty sure this guy's just emptied toilets. <laughs> oh no. Well. Uh. Give him a quick wash. Hopefully, it's dry tomorrow, but that means I wait no track. That team. So this is the car. The engine's in the back. 
Sadev, 60 sequential. Paddle change. There we go. I mean, you can get him from both sides. Not very waterproof. Not a big bulky. Bit of fiberglass behind me. Central driving position, so that's good. Bosch Motorsport ECU. So these 180 horsepower paddle shift. I think they weigh about 800 kilos without anybody in. So this is basically like the Mark V Golf 2 litre. FSI engine, so they're not the TFSI, the FSI. I want to see if I fit in it soon. So these are the control tyre. Cool. So wet or dry will be running these. These are absolutely dead, so hopefully you Remember you've got no helmet, there's enough of a gap. Yeah. Yeah. So went back a bit. Yeah. Pedals are over there though. Look where the pedals are. Steering wheel's like over there. <laughs> Seat in actually the middle. Anti-crash. It's anti-crash. <laughs> Basic, I just been yeah. yeah. No turbo. Yeah. 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 It's like two o'clock now, we're done at the track. So we just heard that because we can't be at the briefing, which is at the exact same time as the qualifying for the 750 Motor Club, we're, um, our lap times are not going to count in qualifying, which is a bit annoying, but... So we're definitely going to put it on pole though. Yeah, we're definitely going to win all these people, under and odd cars that have been here millions of times before, but we probably weren't but it's always nice to have your lap count, but anyway. Sun's come out, got a drink in, the nice looking pub. Hello. You go all the way to Belgium to get away from work, and work comes back to you. Yeah, buddy. Stilianos. That's what you've got in here, Stilianos. So, so this car's going from England to Greece. Oh, that doesn't, that looks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What else is in here then? And there's three people in this. Yeah, three people. Uh, show me, show me what's under there. Where is it? Under where? <laughs> Where's the engine? The engine is in the suitcases. There's an engine in the suitcases. In two suitcases actually. Ah. The two big suitcases have an engine inside. There's an engine, a Vauxhall red top engine. Yeah. That's supposed to be to 9,000 RPM. Yeah. And do 300 naturally aspirated horses. Yeah, Arabic good. horses though. Yeah. So. How many miles? Oh, I don't know, but 3600 kilometers. Oh, we'll put how many miles that is. Well, good luck and Godspeed. Yesterday. Look at this. I'd say not a cloudy sky, but that's not a good one. And what is that? Uh, uh, multi bad. Uh, hybrid. Numbers on there. Rob does not approve of the font. 
So everybody's gone up to quality. My job next. The calm before the storm. Just about to get Look at Rob there. Very photogenic. Safety first when you're on your scooters. The dinner time soon after quality. Be good. As usual, doing two different races. We were trying to be in two places at once. So we're doing this briefing. And then we need to be doing quality for We need to hurry up and get to qualifying. Many spares. Guess that they're saying the car feels really good because we're in like 56 or something silly. I 
I think they say you can't speak crap. We'll let them decide. I'm not even going to have time to get out in this poly session, so hopefully that means I can still race. So what's happening? So if what you're expecting will be a in a pump cup car prior to this little segment, it never happened. But it actually got out in the car. They reckon that we had time to do it, and then we didn't get out. So luckily there's a practice session this evening that we're going to try and do quite a bit of. So there'll be some fun cups happening in this race, in this video, hopefully. So Scott's in the car now in the Golf, and he's out there ready to do um, his first stint, so he's going to go as long as he can. Not sure how many minutes he's going to go in, we'll put that up when we put some on more. He's going to stay out for quite a while anyway. And then uh, I'll jump in and do what I need to do. And then we'll swap over tomorrow and I'll try and do more. But this has been any uh, questionable filming earlier on. It's Louise. She was filming her shoes for a while. So. Yeah, but she wanted to be in this video, so she's in it, but it's just her shoes, mainly. Yeah, so wish us luck for the uh, race anyway.
sure what bits of that we'll put in. Hopefully not all times I got over to. Just watching some of it back now. You can see me coming into these pits. But yeah, not happy with my stint 100%, but the tyres were past the best definitely not long after I got in it really. Um, first safety car restart, I'd not worn my brakes, which I never have to do in our cars, that these brakes have got no bite at the first press. So I went straight on, which weren't ideal. And then um, didn't really lose much time there though, which is what it is. Um, and then the Ginetta got round me. Johnny said at radio that he reckoned this one was last lap. So put my brave pills on, got massively sideways. Didn't look that bad on the camera actually, but it was quite bad. And um, then after that, um, yeah, dope bomb that inside, parked it up, got round him and there were another lap. So to do all work again, but kept away from uh, the Ginetta. But yeah, a lot quicker on straights than that, but that were a lot quicker in infield stuff. Scott's riding aside on his scooter. So this is meant to be parked for me, but God knows what they hold you here for. Just hold you here for a bit. So now the next job for us is to very sweatily run up to the fun cup and get a go out in them, but I feel like we might have been off a bit more than we can chew in this temperature going out in uh, two different cars, but hopefully it makes up for the fact that we never got a go before. So we'll see. I'm so hot. Finally, we get a go in car. 20 to 8. Probably five laps. Five laps. Just everybody just dive bombs you, put like brakes in front of you really hard. They just drive like things. Still not my turn yet. Got 40 minutes left. And I've got a fuel in. It's not looking good. I've had my turn in the pump cup. And not very happy. Scott's not very happy. The guy's super slow. But, the main thing, no confidence. There's a discussion going on over there, team owner, trying to see if we can come up with a setup to make it better. But, annoyed the setup wasn't there today already. Just no confidence in the car, just wants to over, the back wants to overtake the front all the time. And I think, even with the drivers that have come second and third in this race before, we're like six, six seconds slower than normal, six seconds slower than everybody else. Um, it's got still a lot slower than everybody else just because no confidence in the car. New track. But yeah, we're trying to sort it out now. Hopefully we can because if there's a crash, it'll be a lot of money and potential injury. Every car gets a good inspection. This is ours, getting a push checked for the race tomorrow, 25 hours. Saturday morning, we're back, the car's ready, putting a bit of a cushion in, the work is comfy, sun's shining, we're going to hope that the fun cup stuff's getting sorted out while we're not there, but we've still got another 100 minute race, and this, our biggest competitor is there, second biggest, or first biggest, in the blue goal, we'll see what we can do, just have some fun, that's the main thing.
guys have got held up a couple of times by what should have been faster cars overtaking me and then holding me up in sort of twisties and ballsy stuff. They only had the legs on the straights so anyway. That's racing. No safe, we're waiting for a safety car that didn't come until after the pit window, so we came in. We're half hour a lap early. I wish we could have won one lap early than that as well. But I run a good lap that one being clear there, so it didn't make any sense until then I come round the corner and get held up. Anyway, I think we P2 a minute, safety car, because the car's stuck in gravel. I think the race will finish on a safety car. I need to go and swap this t shirt because it's uh, ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I could get changed and then we need to get ready to go to Funko. Second place. So the area guys are all on the respective ways. Jonathan's staying a bit. He's heading off to ring in a bit in his road car, so we'll uh, see him later. So very happy. Second place trophy overall. It's an aggregate race. So what we did yesterday, obviously it didn't matter. It just what we were doing today. So super super happy. Very impressed with the car, so thank you to Rob and the team for sorting them all out. Yeah, made it to real. We'll get to the ferry, so we'll go to the front club. So this is what they call the technical laps. So any changes made to the vehicles, this is the time to test them. Everybody has to go through. So we've got about an hour and a half until the Funk Cup actually starts, all the technical laps, and there's going to be some silly grid formation of new Beatles driving about that, all for the kids. So what we're doing now, we have a ride up to the room that we're renting for the night. So we've still got the other hotel, which is a bit silly really. But we're going to have a ride up to the room that we're renting just to grow. It's about two miles to where we're going, so wish us luck. Look at this, proper event. We're nearly here. That's the track down there. This is the room, it's clean enough. Scott reckons it's like going back in time. That's what happens when you want to rent your own house. Email this guy if you want a room near Spa. See how long it takes to get back. 
We're riding scooters. Look at this. We're not going for half an hour. Six minutes. I'll be about. So we've just come from over there. There's all this happening here. That's where they do rally cross. Anybody walk on this? These three cars are going the wrong way. So, before the race even started, Quite craziness. This is our front end. It looks better now. All this corner were ripped off. Now just the formation. A bit crazy. There's been a lot of drama already. I'm not sure if it's not full team or anything like that. If two people crash in the safety car, which is better. Missed him going out, so I'm getting a shower. But you probably can't see that screen, he's not that far behind. But he's in, uh, I think he was 65th last time I looked. Might be a bit further ahead now. And he got in the car in 80th position, so he's not doing too bad. Lap times are definitely improved on yesterday, so confident in the car. But he's had a lot of safety cars in his stint, so hopefully he can uh, see his feet back up the car. Happy? Yeah. Handles like a bag of crap still, but is it better than it was? No. no. Worse, but worse, but just with more time in it, you get better, don't you? So this car will pull position in our team. Had a little incident, first lap, second corner. The guys who drive it said they come here to win, so they're not going back out. So left it part here for 25 hours.
But yeah, I just got the call saying uh, 30 minutes, but I'd already got up because I'd looked at the live timing and seen that the car were okay because last time when Scott were out, the car was slow, misfiring. So then Jurgen got out in the car and uh, he's uh, he's had to keep trying to get it fixed apparently. So anyway, I need to hurry up and get down there because I'll be out in the car in probably 15 minutes. Bonjour. I've not really done a proper night shift, which I've been disappointed about. That seemed to happen in the KAs of it as well, but anyway, it could be worse. I can't could be like this one. Banana Rama. Fair bit of wheel missing. My second stint, not done too bad, done a 301, so still a second and a half away from the pace of yesterday, but the tyres have just gone. They put some new ones on the front, but it needs some on the rear. So, just can't get it powered out. See if that's where we're losing loads of time. 
So, didn't really explain before because we were in a bit of a rush. Scott were having a problem when he were out misfiring. So we've changed all this wiring harness, the whole thing. Not found what the problem is, but there's obviously some issue there. But we drove absolutely fine for me. No better than before, definitely no worse. So. <laughs> Keep track. And try and get another couple of hours sleep. It's seven o'clock now. I'm going to be back in for nine hours. Nine hours. Probably the end of the video. It's going to probably be feature length, take days to edit and get 500 views, which is not ideal. But we don't just catalogue these events to try and uh, get YouTube views. We do it for the people that want to watch it, for the family. So that's it. So it's been a long week. It's now Monday morning. We've got to head back up towards the ferry. But we're going to swing by Johan, one of our friends, he's got a tuning company. We'll swing by his place. Because I've never been to his factory, Scott has. I'm going to go see him, have some lunch, and then we're, we're going to have to race back to the ferry because we're adding five hours on going to see him. But it should be worth it. And uh, yeah, this will be the end of the video unless something very weird or very interesting happens. <laughs> 